Coming to paperback and e-readers, Isis Legacy. The sorority secrets of the goddess next door are revealed in this all-new Isis series adventure. Pre-order your copy of Isis Legacy on Amazon.com today. Actor Jason Momoa and his wife, Lisa Bonet, have decided to reconcile their marriage after filing for divorce in January. Now, it seems like either your Jason Momoa or your Lisa Bonet have had a change of heart and they have decided to give their marriage a second chance. Now, I believe this decision to give their marriage a second chance is due to one of two scenarios. Now, the first scenario could be that your Jason Momoa truly loves your Lisa Bonet. And it could be that your Jason Momoa has all of this love for Lisa Bonet because he declared when he was seven years old that he was going to have a relationship with her. Now, at seven years old, he probably had a great deep feeling about Lisa Bonet, and that's why he's probably looking to stay committed to your Lisa Bonet. Now, your Jason Momoa could easily leave this marriage and wind out on top because your Jason Momoa is now an A-list performer and he's practically been a box office superstar in hit films like Aquaman and the Justice League movie. So your Jason Momoa is doing very well for himself and is on his way to practically becoming a top star in Hollywood. So he would be the one who would be the winner in this whole scenario because he could easily leave this 54-year-old woman and go out here and have a marriage with a younger woman. And with him being a Hollywood hunk, he would have no problem finding another woman to have a relationship with because many of these women out here see him as a really hot guy that they would want to be with. Now, this could be the reason for your Lisa Bonet looking to reconcile, and it could also lead into the second scenario. Now, the second scenario I see for Lisa Bonet looking to reconcile with your Jason Momoa is because she understands that she's, at 54 years old, doesn't have much prospects for any sort of new partner outside of Bus Downtown. Now, your Lisa Bonet, at 54 years old, has hit the wall, is menopausal, and has two kids. So, her prospects for finding another man who would consider her marriage material are practically slim to none at this point. And they are slim to none because at 54 years old, your Lisa Bonet does not bring anything to the table for a man at all. Because at 54 years old, your Lisa Bonet it has practically, again, she has two kids by another man, and that means that most of those men would have to be dealing with Jason Momoa. Moreover, they would also have to possibly be dealing with Lenny Kravitz, so having to deal with two celebrity baby daddies is a bit of a nightmare scenario for most men to want to deal with. So, at 54 years old, most men who are in that evaporating pool of simps is they're not really interested in dealing with a Lisa Bonet who has next to nothing to offer them outside of a body that is practically deteriorating and a lot of emotional and mental baggage from two previous marriages. So a woman with two previous marriages and children is not somebody a guy who is building himself wants to deal with because that woman brings more baggage to any relationship than an Amtrak train and most men don't want to be the Pullman Porter. So most men would look at Elisa Bonet and not see anybody they would want to deal with. And your Lisa Bonet probably went outside into the real dating world 
or watched videos about the real dating world for middle-aged women, and that probably, possibly spooked her out because she would not be the hottie she was in the 1980s that guys like Jason Momoa crushed on. No, your, J your Lisa Bonet would be a bust down and her social marketplace value would be at possibly 70 to 80% off of its original price. And that is the thing that possibly freaked out your Lisa Bonet was realizing that her social marketplace value was 70 to 80 percent off and her prospects of finding another partner would be slim to none at this point and it would be slim to none at this point because the pool of young simps like a jason momoa was back in the day those guys have grown up those guys have matured and those guys are, excuse me, out here making good money. And with them making good money, they have the options to choose who they want to get involved with. And many of those men, now that they're established, the pool has practically evaporated. And there are practically, again, slim to none takers because they look at this 54-year-old woman who was menopausal, has two kids by, two, by, by one man and another by another man, and they're looking at her and looking at many of these younger women, and they're realizing they have better options for a real relationship. Yes, Lisa Bonet was the fantasy for many guys out here who crushed on her and her pictures back in the 80s, but in the 2020s, many of those men are looking at, at younger, childless women and seeing them as a better opportunity to build their own families and have their own family under their authority. Because it's a nightmare to be in a stepfather scenario, especially to teenagers like Lisa Bonet has, because in that kind of home, a man cannot have his male authority, and any sort of male authority he had would be undermined by your Sabone's husbands, former husbands, Jason Momoa, and your Lenny Kravitz, even though Zoe Kravitz is gone. So that's a nightmare scenario for most men, and it's a nightmare scenario that Lisa Bonet probably thought about critically and realized it just wasn't worth putting her family through that kind of headache and put her family through that kind of drama. Now, the other reason why Lisa Bonet possibly didn't want to divorce her husband was because she probably thought about the whole issue of the community property laws in California. Now, the community property laws in California make it where a spouse who makes more money gets half of the assets, and also they can get child support and get spousal support. Now your Jason Momoa probably made some really good money from his Aquaman and Justice League movies and Baywatch and all of that other stuff he did, but your Lisa Bonet probably makes more money and probably has more assets. And that's probably another reason why your Lisa Bonet got scared because she realized that if she divorced Jason Momoa, she would wind up breaking up their home and she would possibly lose a lot of her wealth and her assets in the divorce. Now, your Lisa Bonet probably looked at what happened to Halle Berry after your Gabriel Aubrey took her to family court and realized that it wasn't smart to break up her home and then wind up having to pay a man child support in the six figures, because that's what happened to Halle Berry for several years. She was paying almost I think about $15,000 a month in child support. And right now she is paying $8,000 a month in child support. So that would be Lisa Bonet's worst case scenario, in addition to paying spousal support to Jason Momoa to maintain his Hollywood lifestyle. And that probably would have burnt up Lisa Bonet to see Jason Momoa living a Hollywood lifestyle with younger women and living and doing better than she 
she was doing right now because your Jason Momoa again is at the point where he's an A-list star and he's at the point where he's going out here and getting the attention of all of these younger women so this is a this is a nightmare scenario for Lisa Bonet who probably thought about this critically and realized having a husband is better than having no husband and taking that trip to bus downtown because the trip to bus downtown is not one most women want to make in fact most women wind up kicking and screaming to fight to not go to bus downtown because a trip to bus downtown is one that is a nightmare to deal with so being in bus downtown that is one of the worst places a woman could be because if you're in bus downtown at 54 years old you're looking at a good 30 to 40 years of sitting there being alone with cats and you're looking at possibly winding up sitting by yourself there without anybody there except maybe your children for a little while because after your children grow up and become adults and start having their own home you're sitting there by yourself and that's a very very nightmare scenario for any woman out here to be in to be in bus downtown and have no takers and it stings even more when you don't go out here and have that person there with you and you were considered a hottie back in the day that's what really stings a lot of bus downs realizing that they went out here and had, were this hottie who had all of these guys chasing them and now they're sitting alone all by themselves realizing that they messed up opportunities to have relationships with a decent man and possibly have a husband now, your Lisa Bonet, this could be the thing that's terrifying her because she's realizing that she can't monkey branch out of this situation and she can't monkey branch her way out to another man at 54 years old. She's probably realized that this is her last chance at love and she needs to hold on to that chance at love because there are not many men out here who want to deal with her so she's possibly realizing that this is as good as it's going to get and it's not going to get any better so that's possibly why your lisa bonet and jason momoa are reconciling it's possibly because your lisa bonet realizes that there aren't many other guys out here who are checking for her and that there aren't many guys out here looking to get involved with a 54 year old menopausal woman who has two kids by one man and another by another man and two failed marriages i mean one failed marriage so the, the prospects for your lisa bonet are not looking good and that's possibly the main reason i believe why your Lisa Bonet wants to reconcile because your Jason Momoa has everything going for him and it would be foolish to get away from a man who practically has everything going for him and to go out here and monkey branch to a pit a fall where your Lisa Bonet would not be able to recover in the social marketplace where her value at 80% off is basically five, a five dollar food stamp without the book so with this woman's social marketplace value dropping to at at least 80 percent off at, at, at being let worth less than a five dollar food stamp without the book your lisa bonet realizes that she has a probably decent man and is probably realizing she needs to appreciate the man that she has because if the whole thing is that there aren't many guys as she thinks that are out here because women outnumber men four to one and with women outnumbering men four to one her chances of finding another man at her age were slim to none now if you want to learn more about why 
black women like Lisa Bonet wind up single and alone for the rest of their lives, you can pick up my book, Why 70% of Black Women Are Single, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also pick up Why 70% of Black Women Are Single on other digital platforms like Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play. And you can possibly find it also on at retailers like Walmart and Barnes & Noble by going online. And you can also find it on other digital booksellers all across the globe. And if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess. The Goddess Next Door takes on the threat of a deadly digital diva driven to destroy the world in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess featuring a bonus pin-up and the other two books in the Cyber Goddess saga at online booksellers everywhere today.